Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I've got a pretty cool one for you guys. This one involves taking your Raspberry Pi and turning it into an AirPlay mirroring server. Traditionally, this was an Apple only feature, allowing you to stream movies or TV shows from your iPhone to your Apple TV or use your Apple TV as a second monitor for your Mac. Now, with this script on GitHub, it allows you to turn your Raspberry Pi into the device to stream to, which has endless possibilities. This has been particularly helpful for me because I have a Mac and I want to be able to use a larger screen with it or a second screen. But as you know, Apple isn't very good at ports. The setup for this is relatively simple, starting with installing Raspberry Pi OS on an RPi. This can be the minimal installation since all of the work will be done in the shell anyways. Once the OS has been installed and the Raspberry Pi has booted up, it's time to sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade. Once the Raspberry Pi is fully up to date, we can get started on installing some dependencies. These dependencies are CMake, libavahi compat, libdnssd dev, libplist dev, and libssl dev. Once those are installed, we can get to installing the actual software by cloning the GitHub repository. Simply run the command git clone and then the repository URL, which I'll have in the description. Finally, we can build it by entering the cloned git repository, making a build directory, entering that directory, and running cmake dot dot and make. Now that everything is finally set up, it's time to test. To run the script, we can simply head over to the RPI Play build folder and run the RPI Play script. The script has a number of flags that can be found on the GitHub page, and the ones that I think are the most important to the average user would be the name of the Avahi broadcast and the audio output, being either HDMI, analog, or none. I ran it with the dash N flag being monitor and the dash A flag being HDMI. Once run, the screen turns black and accepts connections. Don't worry if it gives a few errors, it'll still work perfectly fine. While running it on a MacBook, I thought it was nice to have the second screen, although it wasn't nearly as good as a direct HDMI connection. While I was able to keep something on the large screen, there was a noticeable amount of input lag and I don't think it could do much more than leaving a stationary web page up there or a video. Keep in mind that I did have the Raspi connected over Ethernet. The next thing to try is of course an iPhone. In this scenario, there was still some noticeable compression, but it wasn't bad at all and the video played quite well. So should you really use this? Well, yes and no. It's a little complicated. On one hand, it's an awesome script that has no problem mirroring content from your iPhone or Mac. However, on the other hand, it does not have the same quality that you would get from a direct cable connection or even mirroring content to the Apple TV itself. In my opinion, if you just want to test out the script, you have an extra Raspberry Pi lying around, or you just want to stream content from your mobile device to your TV, this script has no problem doing that at all. However, if you want the full quality and you want to use your monitor to its full potential, you're going to want to invest in an HDMI to USB-C adapter and an HDMI cable, which will end up being cheaper than a Raspberry Pi. All in all, this is an awesome piece of software that works great, but it has some drawbacks in terms of video quality. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope this video helped you. And if it did, please don't forget to leave a like down below and a subscription would go a really long way. If you have any questions or comments, please don't forget to leave them down below.